Good morning, it's day two, a diary of a black man, Monday, June 15th, 2020. I'm just coming from the doctor's appointment with my son and the doctor who's Caucasian gave me an interesting story. He rented an RV to drive his family to Florida rather than fly. And when driving to Florida, he accidentally went on a parkway, which obviously, if you know, RVs are not allowed on parkways because some overpasses are too sh are, are not tall enough for the RV to pass through. So that actually happened to him. And when he, before he got to the overpass, he pulled over, called 911, the police came, and they, um, they blocked traffic and for three intersections, and they allowed him, they think that he could have made his car by going slowly in the middle of the overpass, which he did, and he made it through. And he also said that if he, did, wasn't make, make, if he wasn't able to make it through, they would block traffic for three intersections down, allow him to reverse his car and come out one of the exits. Now, I was just thinking, as a black man, how different would that story have been? Would the cops been open to helping me, to letting me clear through, and just doing like a good job as a citizen helping me, rather than you know accusing me the, I probably have been ticketed. I would have been fined. And, you know, it was just to hear that story is exactly what we're talking about as far as defunding the police and getting more as a community based service rather than the accusations, the ticketing, the fining. The, co the doctor made, you know, an innocent mistake and he was helped rather than felt like he would have been accused and felt like he had to be defensive and ticketed and, and fined and perhaps even killed. So this is what it's all about. Simple stories like this is what I, I'm going to tell and just give you the message from a black man's perspective.